All right, guys, just a quick video on the pond. As you can see, I'm lowering the water, doing a massive water change. Ah, I don't know where to start. For one thing, the tap water takes nine drops of the API general hardness to, can, to show you to change how hard it is. Well, after you put it in the pond, they tell you as the pond ages, it's supposed to get harder and harder water, but that's not the case. Mine's getting lower, it was four drops, so I don't know what the heck's going on. But I'm lowering it, and look, look at the fish. You can see some of the babies swimming around now, look. Might as well make a video of them, they look sweet. There's black, orange, white, orange, and black, all different ones. They're not out. Some of them are in the deep part, look at that one out there, I don't know if you can see it. It's black and white. And there's an orange and black one out on the edge and a solid black one next to it. If they come closer, I'll get a, vi a video of them. Look at this one, that one's sweet. Actually, they're all sweet when you breed them yourself. <laughs> Look at them. I don't even know how many. I think I counted nine or 10. I think I put 13 in here, so a couple of them died. But, I'm going to take it down the water. I don't know, there's probably two more inches right to this center piece where it goes deeper. I'll take it down to there and fill it back up. That's the problem. The pH is like 8.8 .8 in here. It's crazy. And the hardness just keeps getting softer and softer. I don't know why. And I'm reading about it and they always say it gets harder. Go figure. Maybe I could put something in the filter to get the hardness to stay more consistent. I know some people say use dolomite or crushed coral or even oyster shells. I don't know which works best. But the problem is, will that, if I put it in there, keep climbing and climbing and then I have to take it out? Or is it like a buffer and stays at a certain thing? That's what I don't know. I'll have to do research. Look at them. Man, that's getting low to water. They're cool looking. And I have so many in the house. I probably have over a thousand of them in the house. Little fry anyway. And then I got ones like an inch, inch and a quarter big that I was thinking about putting out here, but I'm not sure yet. That one back there by the liner, pecking stuff. That one's sweet, gets white, black speckles all over and red on the head. Two orange ones. Sure, when I want them in the shallows, they don't come. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a better view over here. If I don't spook them, that is. Ah, they're afraid. They see me, who wouldn't be afraid? Maybe I could just stand here? Nope, didn't work. They all went in the shallows better off over there unless they come after a while and they think I'm a statue or something this one's sweet look at this one really white and like a reddish head with black all on them look it's a short tail I has some red on the side too there's a black one over here I can't see if he's solid black or the top or what let's see Looks like the bottom's like, uh, I don't even know. This looks almost solid black, that fish. Damn, I almost feel like taking him out to see what he looks like. Curious mom over here. Let me get back on the deck. I think you'll see him better. Never had one that black before. There he is. Small, though. Looks like the bottom of them may be white. I don't know if you could see them. See them in front of the hose? I'm trying to get as close as I could, but that's as far as I could reach. It's mostly black, the whole top, like halfway down. That's cool. Look at all these guys. Oh man, the water's getting low. They ain't gonna be smart enough to go into the deep part watching that to pick them up. Or should I just stop? Here's the black one coming in. There he goes. 
I see some color on the side like white so maybe it's just white and black man it's nice too bad it's a small one yeah this pump ain't even working it's bypassing now let me shut it off I have a garden hose with PVC but the hose the, the outtake is inch and a half so I just stuck in three quarter inch PVC and wrapped it with tape. Well, it worked for this much of the water and it looks like it just blew out. So that ain't working. Let me shut it off. Don't want that to be. Yeah, I can see it came off, but it's probably still siphoning. Who knows how fast. I'm... Look at this one out here. See it in the middle? Mostly white and like a grayish blue in the middle with a black tail. Sweet looking. Like the head's really white. That's going to be a nice looking fish, I think. And it has a pretty good length on the tail. Let me go. Man, that one's nice too right there. Look at that. How red the head is. Look at how red that one is. <laughs> Mama. Let me see if this is still siphoning. My grass looks like hell. It's been like almost a hundred for like ten days. Whew, it's friggin' hot out here. It's gonna be like 95 today. But oh my god, humid as hell. Yeah, look how slow it's siphoning. That's no good. I mean, it's coming out. Not as fast as I would like. It was coming out way faster with the pump. That sucks. Ah, the joys of owning a pond. <laughs> I told you guys I put the big canister filter on here. It was making noise. I actually got two new impellers and they both rattle. Too loud for me in my bedroom. So it works fine out here. Let's see if we can see some of these beauties up close. Oh yeah, look at that one. Oh, uh, the water's getting shallow, mister. <laughs> Let me see if I can sit here if they come. Oh man, it's so hot, the deck. That one's weird, see the lighter orange one? It's almost like translucent orange compared to the orange one behind it. it has like a glow to it. Like a see-through translucent like layer of orange that just glows. Here comes some more. Oh, I didn't notice that one has a big black splash on its side. Huh. Geez, the only time I could get to see my fish is when I lower the water because the friggin' stuff's so dark green. And I got a good feeling when I fill it back up, it'll look good for a day or two and it'll get bad again. But what are you gonna do? Here they come. Eh, I'll tell you, you know, you could buy goldfish. You could get some nice ones, but it's something when you breed them yourself and you see what you produced. Yeah, this is getting low. I'm gonna start filling it up, I think. But when you produce them yourself, it's so satisfying to see them actually swimming around and you practically, you made them basically. Man, that black one, sweet oh, she would come closer. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna fill this back up now. So I'm gonna leave you. Wish me luck. If anyone knows anything about that general hardness, why it's getting uh, lower and lower, let me know. Alright guys, see you later.